On January 23, 2009, around 9.50 p.m., near Northwest 15th Avenue and 70th Street, a gunman fired indiscriminately at a crowd of people during a street dice game. It left seven wounded and two dead. It was said to be one of the largest mass shootings in Miami history. Here's the story of the Liberty City Massacre. Brandon was the youngest out of four kids that I had, and he was a good baby, from a baby to 16 years of living. Uh, he was well known around the community. Uh, he was more of a laid back kid. He didn't do too much of talking. He was very active in the community, you know, parks. Uh, playing sports and school events as well. Uh, at home, he was more of like a mama's boy. Everything mama, 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 but he was real uh, good kid and laid back. Derek is my only son and my first child. Well, he's the only boy of seven girls. He loved being around his little sisters. He's a real busybody. He always got something going on, want to do something got somewhere to go, somewhere to be. So it was hard to keep up with him, you know. Derek was very sociable. He easily made friends wherever he went. His choice of friends, some good, some bad, but then he knew how to stay away from the bad ones. He was a jokester, you know what I'm saying? He liked to play, you know, play games on you. He was a clown at times. He made us happy. He loved his family. We had a good relationship. You know, I mean, he was 11 years old. I had to go away. You know, I had got incarcerated. But from the time, you know, while I was in jail, you know, me and him always talked, you know. I always tried to talk to him at least two times out the week, you know what I'm saying, to check on my little man and to see how he doing. And try to, like, be a parent from jail and um, give him some advice and guidance. Just, you know, kind of like pry into his life and ask questions just to help them out, you know what I mean? Because it was only so much I could do, you know, because my hands was tied. Well, I tried to give them some encouraging words, you know, as a father, you know what I'm saying, and do my job from jail, you know, no matter where. Well, the two young men that were killed uh, there at the scene were uh, Brandon Mills and Derek Gloucester, both of whom are part of families that didn't deserve to have their family member taken from them much less in the way that this occurred. They were young men with uh, a future ahead of them and uh, tragically had their, their futures cut short. I need police to five, how I help you? There's been, been some shooting on Northwest 70th Street and 15th Avenue. What happened? Well, just got shot up. I did it? But well, my sister got shot too. How many shots have you heard? I heard about 15 shots. I hit the floor when I heard the noise. Then I hear a lot of yelling outside now. January 23rd, 2009, at approximately 9.50 p.m., at the corner or the intersection of Northwest 15th Avenue and 70 Street in Miami, Florida. The area is known as Model City, formerly known as Liberty City. This store, which is located on the northwest corner of the intersection, has the front door that faces diagonally towards 15th Avenue. 15th Avenue has always been known as a very high crime area. 15th Avenue usually uh, is occupied by businesses on the avenue side, and east and west of the avenue, you have residences. On January 23rd, uh, 2009, there were a large uh, number of individuals congregated on the east side of the grocery store. Uh, according to witnesses, they were playing a dice game, which is very common in that area. The crowd of individuals that were playing the so-called dice game were predominantly young males, possibly in their teens and, and their 20s. And at one point, uh, an individual uh, came from the west side of 15th Avenue, armed with an assault rifle, and proceeded to indiscriminately shoot at the individuals involved in the game. As the subject opened fire on the crowd, they all proceeded to run in different directions. There were a total of nine victims that were shot. Two victims died as a result of the shooting. Uh, 
one of them being Brandon Mills and the other victim being Derek Gloucester. It is believed at the time of the shooting that possibly after hearing the shots, a large number of individuals also came out to see what was occurring. And this was a very chaotic scene. You have bodies thrown all over the street, uh, people bleeding, it's just the immensity of, uh, of the scene. Police cars coming from every direction, rescues uh, involved, the number of rescues involved to transport the victims to the hospital. And I went driving to the site that they told me. I was like, no way that could be Derek laying there. And that scene plays in my head over and over again. Bullet shells everywhere around. Everybody was everywhere, you know, and it was just horrible how all the kids was laying out all on the ground, you know. I couldn't believe it because I wouldn't think in the world that this would happen because Brandon wasn't a kid that actually hung around that neighborhood. I had to deal with that while I was in jail on my own. I spent a lot of time in my room, in my cell, by myself crying, you know what I'm saying, letting tears out, you know, as a man for my child. Community leaders in Miami banding together and sending a unified loud message. Gun violence will not be tolerated. I don't know how I'm going to go on. He was my heart. He was my baby. Tangela Graham's baby was in a crowd of more than 50 Friday night, watching a game of dice. Moments later, they were sprayed with bullets. More than 100 bullet casings found at the scene. I want them to turn themselves in. <laughs> they took everything from me. Nine people were hit, including 18-year-old Derek Gloucester and 16-year-old Brandon Mills. He was well-mannered, soft-talking, good kid. And I haven't questioned God yet, but I do have a problem on how he died. How LaSonia Mills' son died, these five mothers now share in common. Their kids killed in the streets of Liberty City, the majority by boys not even old enough to legally buy a beer. School officials say six of the nine people involved in the shooting were or are students from Northwestern High School. Michelle Spence-Jones is the commissioner for this area. She calls the shooting senseless and awful and hopes it will light a fire under residents to get involved and take back their community. The president has called for us to, for an era of responsibility. It is time for everybody in this community to wake up and do something about what's happening in our neighborhoods. We cannot afford to lose any more young people to gun violence. There are individuals that have information about this case. Uh, we not only look for people who know information about what happened based on their own observations that evening, but who may have information that they received either prior to this homicide or subsequent to the homicide occurring. And that is the group of people that we are at this point reaching out for and asking that they call the homicide office or the Crime Stoppers office. The suspect uh, was described and is believed to have been a black male in his 20s, approximately 6'3 in height. The little things help, you know, the little bit of information you might not think that mean nothing. It might make the case. That will bring a little bit peace to my heart and my soul. I know that God is awesome. He is everything. I just have faith that one day this case is going to be solved.